everybody, it's uh, Casey here with Fast Track. We just got back from the National Homebrew Conference. We had an awesome time. Thanks everybody for coming and checking out our booth. Uh, we just want to do a quick overview on our new one that we're working on. It's called Fast for Men. Some of you might have seen it before. It was formerly known as the V-Vessel. It's a primary and secondary fermenter all happening in one vessel. We're getting away from racking and transferring for a better quality product. So what happens? Everything goes in the unit. We do our primary ferment. As, it, as the primary ferment happens, it's going to come down and settle in the ball. When the primary is done, the valve goes off. Now we pop the ball off. We can actually take this ball, harvest the yeast out of it, so we can reuse it on other batches. Some guys will buy 10 of these balls and have an assortment of them. We now clean the ball out. The ball goes back on. Clip, clip. We open the valve up. Now we're doing our secondary ferment. When the secondary ferment's done, the valve goes off again. Ball pops off. Now we simply take our hose fittings, Clip it right on on the bottom, same thing as before. And now we have a hose, we're going right into bottles or kegs. The product is very easy, it's clean, it's clutter free because we don't have multiple items. And best of all, the quality is much better. When we're racking and transferring, we always get sediment contamination. As well, we're exposing it to oxygen. With fast ferment, it eliminates all that. Hey everyone, so we made some awesome improvements to the vessel right now. Uh, we're going to put a six inch removable screw top on it we have to be able to have access so we can get in and clean it properly. Next thing we're doing, we're increasing the volume. New volume, seven gallons, 27 liters. It's ideal for five gallon batches with the headspace on it. Next thing we're doing, we're gonna switch the wall mount system up. The new system is gonna be two pieces. They go straight back. They're 16 inches apart. This is ideal for mounting on standard wall studs in any house. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna increase the valve. Right now the valve is a three quarter inch we're gonna go up to one inch on it. It's a Teflon seated valve, so we're gonna have really good flow down into this bottom ball here. Next thing, we're gonna put a thermal well on it. There's gonna be a metal extrusion permanently in the mold that'll go in about three inches. We'll be able to stick a thermometer, heat, temperature gauge on it, so we can always know what the temperature is inside the vessel. Lastly, we're gonna make some improvements to the ball. We're gonna increase the size by 20%, and we're also going to have a flat bottom on it. This way we can cap it, put it in the fridge, reuse the yeast in a week or whatnot. Really excited. Thanks for checking it out. All right, guys, we're also going to have some accessories available. First, we're going to have a small stand, keeping it as compact as possible so we can put it in a fermenting chamber. Second, we're going to have a larger stand so that we have the vertical so we can go right into bottles or kegs. And thirdly, we're going to have carrying straps available so we can pick it up, transport it wherever we want. We've saved the best part for last. We're moving the manufacturing into the U.S. This has opened up our pre-sale of the first thousand units, $90 including shipping, $120 for Canadian customers, and this includes everything, all the way from the airlock, bung, vessel, collection ball, filling tube, and hose clamp. We're really excited about this. We hope you are too. Thanks for checking it out and have a great day.